Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back. My name is Fizz. And today, you see this? You see that? You see that? It's another captain's log of Atlas. We got a lot to talk about. So anyways, my name is Fizz. How's everyone doing today? Today, we're going to go over the Captain Log 28. We have a couple, a lot of things to showcase, a lot of things to talk about. We got a lot of things to process because the live stream provided us with a lot of information as well as uh, this whole article has a lot of information. If you want to read up on it and go at your own pace without the video, it'll be in the link in the description down below if you want to. And also, the, uh, the live stream is about, I think, an hour and 30-something minutes. So that's also a thing, but I will take clips from that and put it in this video if you don't give a crap about that. Uh, of stuff like the, the new creatures and something, an example of like the torpedo. Because, uh, well, they showcased that kind of stuff in the live stream. So starting off the, the whole forum post is basically they went into, just like in the live stream, they just talked about how they're happy with the changes and how they're dealing with the stuff in the game. Obviously, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of bug fixes they've cracked down, a lot of things they fixed, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's basically what the whole, you know, whole bunch of these questions are and um, also recap things. You can read all these. All right, and now to the actual stuff I want to talk about and go over is actually the content. So this is going to be another big update. It's going to be coming roughly the end of May. So it's probably going to be in the summer because, you know, they always delay stuff. Well, actually, I don't know. They were pretty good on this last update. It was actually dead on the day, I think, maybe like a day late. Uh, but other than that, it's it was not too bad. But this update, they're going to be focusing on a lot of new content, like new skins. So this is a great example of a new skin that they showcase right here. This is a Hydra Cyclops Heavy Armor, I think it is. Or is it the... I don't know which one it is. It's the one that we talked about in the last update. They actually have a full model of it, and I'll put a video up right now of the uh, showcasing it in-game. Okay, so this is the Cyclops one. So. Yeah, this is the heavy okay. Cyclops one. And then it's similar to the other one, so you'll have to go to a free port to purchase it. Right. Another um, armor set that we're going to be getting is the Hydra Hide, which in my opinion looks the best because it looks such like an archery set. And you know me, I'm an archer kind of person, so uh, this one is going to be fantastic. And we have a little bit of a video footage as well of that. As and then we should have another person flying over right now with the Hide Hydra. Yeah, so with these uh, armor skins, awesome. we just decided to focus on a little bit of uh, lore in, in the game world. So you've seen we've got the Cyclops sort of theme, which is like a more tribal theme. And so for that, we wanted to come up with a heavy armor appearance that still felt tribal. Uh, so we got some cool bones on there and feathers and stuff like that. So the next thing we're going to go over is they're going to start experimenting with ship parts of cosmetics so we already have a bunch of ship parts of mantles or head mantles for the front of our boats now they're experimenting with uh ship wheels uh cosmetics so right now what they're gonna test right now is a cosmetic for a hydra uh, ship wheel now a lot of we've been talking about this on my stream today in the day before uh about what if we had an entire an entire the whole ship as a different cosmetic skin that we can wrap around or change so for instance a great example is a hydra or a dragon skin that you could get from killing a multiple of hydras or multiple dragons to unlock and for a quest for wise and be able to change your ship's layout and the kind of a skin i mean obviously you couldn't change like the whole hitbox layout or anything but changing what it looks like so like the back mantle and maybe like even the side pieces so, like trying just changing it to be a different ship but it's just a different skin that'd be kind of cool because i would just add a lot of content because if you made it so that you had to kill five hydras to unlock uh i don't know get one skin and then you had to kill another five to get another one etc cetera, etc cetera, or maybe it's i don't know it'd be something like that you could do whatever you want but um they are experimenting with a uh, a uh, ship wheel and that's what it looks like and it looks pretty cool it looks it looks nice it's got little hydra things i'm i think we might have a video I'll play that right now if we do. And, and basically the same thing, just go into the free ports, um, go to the, the vendor and, and yeah, get the merchant. Um, and, and you can uh, get a whole new look for your steering wheel. Uh, it's obviously a cool uh, snake motif. And if you go into um, first person on it and kind of grab the wheel, uh, see so you got the little heads poking back at you, you know, so if you're screaming or, or making cool videos, yeah, it's you know, it's very obvious that you got like your own custom 
steering wheel going on. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is the torpedo. They actually had a working kind of display model, kind of, you would say, of the actual thing working in game. And they did clarify that this is not the final product. It's not even close, but they wanted to get something working to showcase it so that people could get started talking about it. Because it is kind of, if you think about it, like we talked about in the last video, it is a very big change on the way that boat, boat warfare is because they, uh, they pull up boats very easily and uh this is no exception so i'm gonna play a clip right now and then i'll showcase then i'll talk about what i i, I feel about it not add a level of uh opiness to uh to the cannon itself but also to add diversity to the cannon, right? right right if you're just firing cannonballs at somebody all day that's that's cool when you have that now but this adds a little bit of spice to it right right and the initial idea behind the torpedo was like we felt like it was something that would be would be kind of necessary in a, in a seafaring type game, but also the, those concerns of people building structures under the ocean and wanted to provide an option for players to be able to destroy that, but destroy those. So the way torpedoes work is um, they're shot through a torpedo launcher which can only be placed on bump or snaps. Um, if you shoot, there you go, this is what it looks like. It's a, gotcha, gotcha. It's a golden age structure right so it adds into that more course, right 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 age. and when you're shooting it if you shoot level or above oh, that's cool it be, uh, I'll, I'll get, Zane, get back into position cool. so when you're firing it if you shoot level to the surface or sorry if you shoot level to the surface of the water or above the surface of the water the the torpedo itself will just follow that traje trajectory and it don't it won't actually like go above the water line right. itself and if you aim downwards it will shoot down like a missile kind right. of thing right so you can actually shoot down into the so the idea is it's a bit more of a, a subversion tactic than watching a cannonball fly straight towards your face right right, right. Deck. Oh, there we go yeah. just reload see that you can see it range is pretty huge it has a yeah the tracing on it yeah it flies out awesome has a light source, so you can see them coming at night as well. Want to put it to night and see how that looks? Yeah. Yeah, I think players are really gonna have a great time with this. It's, it's like there's a lot of subtlety to it, but the damage is immense. So it should be should make for a very. Right. Interesting I mean, the values you, you see now, this is all like test stuff that we set up just to kind of get the demonstration going. By the time it actually hits the live game, um, the numbers will slightly change. I like at the end, he says it's like a surprise sneak attack. Um. If you get hit by that, as of right now, you're just dead because it's such an OP technology thing. So my thoughts about it is if they really want to add this kind of thing, it's it's such a heavy topic because like like we talked about in the video it just doesn't it just i mean they're doing a fantasy pirate game so they did say that they're not going to go to the generic rules of pirates right uh so that means we're probably gonna have flying boats and all the steampunk things so i mean i guess it i guess it could work in the game but um there there better be a way to counter it because as of right now if they're gonna keep it as it is i mean it one shot the galleon in the video and it almost just they obliterated the the, the break with no consequences on it i don't know what's your thoughts about it i personally could give two shits they could just get rid of it i don't care don't play pvp and yeah that's that's my opinion Another new uh, addition that they're going to be adding is called a new boat attachment cargo racks. Now, this is going to be a new storage option for medium and large ships that you can store cargo attached to like a dinghy hanger locations uh, that can store resources. Now, you cannot open these uh, crates when you're on the move with your ships, but if you're anchored, you can uh, access them. And they were hinting about being able to store like ammunition and other resources. And this is be really, really, really cool because it can reduce the weight of everything in there by a significant amount of number or whatever crunching that they'll do who knows what it'll be maybe 20 percent, 50 percent. who knows but it'll be really nice because you'll be able to transfer goods a lot farther and a lot faster because well the limitation right now is actually ship weights because uh there's a limit of how actually how much weight you can put on a ship so this right here is going to be really really nice and also they said that if your ship sinks uh the cargo will float to the surface and then people can pirate your cargo and crap or you can if you're quick enough to get yourself back 
Another fantastic addition is the new card attachments, large storage boxes. So we talked about this a day one. Oh boy, this is like a day one feature that should have been added, but they didn't think about it, is being able to put a large chest on the cargo carts and basically be able to store a bunch of things. So they're actually doing it. They've added a custom model. Basically, you just literally put a large chest on the cart and it reduces the weight of anything in that cart by a significant amount only if you're on the island. So if you go on a boat, all the weight goes back to its regular value. So then, cause then it would be OP if it didn't or whatever. Um, so basically bears and horses, even though they're pretty OP now, they're gonna be even more OP because then you'll be able to carry even more things with them. So I think this is gonna be fantastic. I really hope that they add the bull, uh, the cow, the bull, uh, to be able to have carts. Cause I feel like it should have carts. Uh, but nonetheless, this is fantastic news. I love it. This is going to be great. I absolutely think it's, it's amazing. I love it. All right. So another thing that they uh, don't have a picture or anything for, so I'm just going to take it right from the live stream, is that they're actually going to have some other things to do when you're sailing. So when you sail right now, you don't have much to do except for grab some crates. Well, you'll be able to now fish when you're sailing. So they're going to make a little net kind of thing that when you're moving across the sea, you'll be able to catch tunas, bass, etc, etc, any kind of fish that they have in the sea. You'll play a little mini game, you know, just like an arc, a uh, a S D Z X C whatever and uh, you'll be able to get lots of fish and oils and stuff and they also said you'll be able to get some gold and some maybe some other things they haven't they're not too 100% sure on what exactly it's all going to be, but it looks fantastically amazing and uh it's uh it's cool it's just something else to do when you're sailing and that's what we need we need lots more things to do when we're sailing so uh we're not bored doing nothing moment so once the the boat speeds up it will kind of activate the process and he'll start catching fish as he's sailing it will happen quite rapidly right now but that's because it's in debug mode because we wanted to show it for the demo uh when you're actually when it's actually released it won't be if you want to catch as many fish Ooh, there you go successfully caught one it's just like fishing in real life. Yeah, exactly. Imagine. Another new feature that they're going to be adding is a harpoon that you'll be able to harpoon other ships. Now, they kind of went into a little bit of it, and there's a little video showcasing on what they have right now, is that bigger ships will be able to pull little ships into uh, their radius and obviously next to their ship. Uh, to be able to board or do anything, obviously, probably just sink the ship, to be honest. But uh, we were talking in the live stream is what if small ships harpoon to big ships to be able to be towed? from anywhere now see that would be a very interesting thing because they said that the weight physics is basically the bigger ships will be able to pull smaller ships so uh for instance a galleon being able to pull a brig if you had a couple uh harpoons against to a galleon and then vice versa all the way down to a raft i mean it'd be kind of funny um i hope that's kind of a thing they didn't say anything else about that um you can for instance shoot it you can cut it with a sword or whatever if you're if you're an enemy uh, the, per the other person that actually it's harpoons to get rid of it. Uh, so it's not just like, oh, it's on your ship, you're stuck with it. No, you can actually get rid of it as defensive mechanism. But obviously, if someone's going to try and board your ship, they're going to probably have a bunch of them and they're going to try and do a lot of different areas. So that way, it's not easy to unharpoon your ship. So um, that'll be something that you guys will have to think about. But this is great. This is a great PvP thing. I think this is going to be fantastic. Uh, what do you think about it? I would love to hear in the comments. All right, they also showed the spear gun. I'm not going to showcase the video. It's just like arc. It's just a copy and paste. If you want, literally want to know what it is, just go play arc. It's just going to be a spear gun. All right, and now into some creatures. So they showed off of the new camel creature in the turtle. The camel creature is called Alfin, and it's quite interesting. It's quite a, it's quite cool. So. It'll be able to put out fires. It'll be able to hold uh, water, lots of water, and also be able to you'll be able to drink from it as well. It's basically just going to be a walking fire hydrant, basically that'll be able to store waters. So you can water crops and etc. And you can also ride. It'll be like a tier three saddle and everything. And I'll showcase uh, in the video. Next yeah, day, yeah, you got, yeah. Yeah. So we were going to call this the cam elephant, but we decided that was a little yeah. too <laughs> too literal. <That's> right. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, this one uses a tier three saddle, and uh, you know its, it's the primary use is almost like a camel, so that you can um, get water, carry it with you, refill uh, things sort of from its water store, refill other people's water containers, um, and so uh, you know it's really kind of a, a unique creature in that regard. The right hand side in the hot you see like a, a water meter, and when it's full, like, you know, and that water is essentially used to spray, which can. Yeah, okay. 
Yes, that is one. That's, so it's basically like a fire. Fire yeah, we'll, we'll, fire truck we'll put out some fire slash. share with it in a second. I know. Hey, can uh, you uh, you spray it while you're running? So we're spraying all the water. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> nice. So yeah, you can run down your your colleagues and spray them down while they're <laughs> <laughs> replenish the fast. Replenish. Yeah. Yes. Same. There you go. The fire is oh. gone. Yeah. So if this that. is on your ship and you're That's right. you're, you're burning. Keep one uh, handy for those fire arrows. We can load them on the ship, can't we? Right. Yep. I mean, you can run around on the ship and do the same thing. All right, let's talk about the giant tortoise or giant Toktakar. This thing is a monster. So if you look at the screenshot, it doesn't look like it's that big. Um, in reality, it's as big as a damn schooner. It's huge. This thing is going to be a very interesting tame. Now, they haven't decided if it's going to have a saddle or anything or or that kind of thing because it's it's very interesting. I'm going to showcase in the video in a second, but um, it can hold six people. It'll be able to swim your oxygen when it's under the water. Uh, it's basically just a, a living submarine, but like a organic submarine, you'd say. Um, so you'll be able to not lose your oxygen as quickly. So it's going to be a very interesting creature. I don't know. Tell me what you think. I'm just going to showcase what it does with the video. And yeah, just tell me. It's really weird. But I believe there are plans Will from the art guys to okay. get that underway. Yeah, it's kind of big. So we're thinking of giving it a saddle. Um, so some, some, some art direction here. Is it... Uh... I mean, it looks like a alligator snapping a turtle. So to <laughs> yeah, but it's, but it's got a cool ability. That's right. Let's check out that ability. So it's got these um, flaps that open up, and uh, it kind of has an interior area that's really useful for just sitting in it, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So essentially, it's it carries a, a bunch of people around, and the turtle shells can close and the people who are inside of it will be protected from damage. Can he so right. fire some arrows at you right now? Shoot something. So getting damaged, the creature is, but right. the arrows should be uh, hitting into the side. Yeah, you can see them on the side, there. right. Right. And then if you open now it again. If you open that, though, he'll be able to hit you Bam. if you're sitting in there. He can also swim and uh, take you underwater and right. with reduced oxygen loss for nice. everybody inside. Nice. So it's almost like an organic submarine. Right. right. So it's a, it's it's got it's got a very cool like so it's cool swim too. animation. Right. It's not endless of course, so sure. you will have to go up and get replenish your oxygen at some point. Yeah, so it's it's yummy. Ram right. attack. Bite. Charm. And then it should have a tail swipe huh, if you press C. Definitely one of the cooler creatures. I remember walking by some of the folks who were making this and just being like, oh my god, this is amazing. And I'm, I'm, it's got this transformer kind of thing. Can you do it, go ahead and charge too? Like the it's got so many different elements. So he's a little slow. But yeah, as a turtle should be. You know, he's not too bad <laughs> considering how large he is that's He's right gigantic. How many? all right and the last thing that they showcased was the new polar dungeon now uh take a grain of salt this isn't done there's no creature spawns there's no new animals there is nothing but they showcase it and uh showcasing it right now obviously in the screen for you guys to look at it it's quite beautiful I, I, they put a lot of work into this and apparently the person that makes the center is actually in charge in making this and if you look at it the art style and what they have done with it is superb it looks so good they did hint though that there is going to be a final boss at the end of this and it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out because if you think about it i don't know if they understand that people don't want to use animals for everything and as of right now if you don't do treasure maps without animals and kind of you know very high equipment uh, a lot of treasure maps are kind of impossible for people including solo people to not use bears or lions or elephants or giraffes because quite frankly the animals are just so much better than using your own personal weapons and everything because they just are so it'll be very interesting to see if they actually can balance this dungeon around to actually having the ability to you know use weapons and stuff they did say this that they are looking into making this probably a later version of a dungeon so maybe you have to get maybe like three power stones and then you'll be able to do this i'm not too sure i kind of hope they put it in the middle because there's a lot of things if you think about it right now 
there's a lot of too there's too much things that are late game that there's not a lot of things to do early game there's a lot of grind if you think about it right now in the game there's a lot too much grind in the early game and all this cool kind of things like the submarine the kraken the power stones and all this stuff this cave if if everything is in late game then you're just kind of getting trying to get to the end as soon as possible and all of that is just grinding of resources just to get you know better weapons and other tools and stuff but so far this looks absolutely fantastically amazing and i'm kind of happy with that but i'm really hoping they put this in the mid tier uh like some of these dungeons so that way there's more content to do uh let's 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 hope but we'll see about that i don't know but it does look good so all right so i want to go over a couple things that they're also going to be changing that they didn't have any pictures or videos or anything about uh so I, and also i'll just finish the rest with the the showcasing of the cave uh the polar cave uh so additional mega uh, patch notes they're gonna add a new weapon the crossbow we've seen some concept arts and everything uh they said that they're gonna change it a little bit uh so i'm assuming they kind of want to do something like they did like the grappling hook like the grappling hook in my opinion is phenomenal i love it it. I love using it. I use it every day when I'm playing Atlas. It's uh, it's 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 been a treat to use. So I wonder if they're gonna change the way that the crossbow will work, just like an arc, because uh, the crossbow and arc is literally low shoot, low shoot. It's not really nothing really interesting about that. Uh, so they're also gonna be adding a new structure. It's a three times four medium gate. Wow. Arc devs, what the hell are you guys doing? These guys are listening to their community. What, uh, what about you? They've been asking that for like damn three years. <laughs> it only took these guys two months. Wow, crazy. Uh, they're talking about the ice box. Um, that is going to be useful for breeding as well as all the other stuff like we talked about. So they didn't showcase it or anything, so it'll be kind of cool. They also said that you'll be able to mount down the ice and be able to drink it. No one really cares about that. Um, they said, oh yeah, so the new resource ice. Must be harvested from the cold zones, uh, decay relevant quickly if not insulated in storage thing, etc. etc. We already knew all that. Um, there's also going to be a new feature called company wide map markers. So you'll be able to, uh, as a company owner or an admin, you'll be able to put on your map. Uh, so when you open your big map on Atlas, not the mini map, but the big map, when you open your inventory, you'll be able to put something like base there or sunken ship over here that we should get today or tomorrow and stuff. You'll be able to probably put like map markers so that the whole company can see, which is very, very nice. That's going to be a lot of, uh, that'd be really nice because what if uh, people are offline? And you need to tell people, but you don't have their contact information. People will be able to see that when they open their map. It'd be very nice to see. Now, get what they're going to be doing as well. They're actually going to be revamping the skill tree UI. So you know how everyone hates it? They're actually going to be changing it. They're actually going to take the inspiration from the uh, Atlas skill tree UI uh, that actually is used for the skill calculator because they actually like it. And that's good because it's really good. And the one that they have is really bad. Um, so hopefully we'll actually get a very readable one because it's very hard to sometimes explain to someone what they need to get to actually get to that unless you use the skill calculator online. So I'm very, it's going to be very nice to see a, a whole rehaul overhaul on that um, will be very nice. They're also going to be doing uh, breeding temperature gates. Uh, adjustments so basically being able to breed stuff they the example they said that when they get to juvenile they won't need temperature gauging anymore so they won't they'll ignore temperatures and then you'll be able to just raise them as as normal they also change some temperature numbers here and there about that as well that's gonna be nice for people that like to breed thing but anyways ladies and gentlemen that's it for the video hopefully you were informed about this captain's log i was quite happy with a lot of things uh granted the torpedo and the giant turtle is a little bit of a concern for me because the torpedo it just looks like so stupidly broken and op it just doesn't i just don't care it just it's not gonna be balanced ever this is gonna be a complete mess um as well as turtle might be a little concerned about it being too arc ish because they did say and people don't want it to be too the people don't want it to be arc so i would say maybe think about before you release the giant creature make it smaller make it just do one thing get rid of the oxygen get rid of the be able to hold people i know it's cool and all it might be too much for this game you really want to add something like that put it in arc i don't I, it doesn't make sense to be put, put, blah, blah, it doesn't make sense for me to be put into a game like this but it is their game they'll do whatever they want with the 
whatever they do. So it does look cool, but I'm just a little bit concerned on that. But anyways, enough about my opinion. I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. What's your thoughts and, and like heart and feelings about this? Because there's a lot of cool things happening and I'm just kind of, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I like it. And I would like to hear what your guys' thoughts and, and theories about everything is because, you know, there's a comment section down below and I would love to hear it. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, follow, and don't forget, check out all my live streams. And I do have a free Atlas server you can join. Link in the description down below. It's on my Discord. You can join, hang out, we play Atlas on a freaking amazing Atlas server. Hell yeah, we have the best Atlas server, in my opinion. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I love you all. We'll see you guys on the next one.